Are you concerned about end times? This topics became urgent and important due to recent escalating conflicts happening around the world. Let's look at what the scripture says about wars and rumor of wars. Compiled by C.S. Ling Studio. All Bible references are taken from New King James Version, NKJV, Bible. The book of Matthew has a whole chapter dedicated to this topic and for viewers, please read Matthew 24 before you proceed further. Matthew 24 in summary. Verses 1 to 2 Destruction of the Temple. Verses 4 to 5 False Christ. Verses 6 to 7 Wars and Ru Hours of Wars, Nation against Nations, Kingdom against Kingdom, Famines, Pestilences, and Earthquakes. Verses 9 to 10 Hatred and Betrayal. Verse 11 False Prophets. Verse 12 Lawlessness Abound backsliding of believers. Verse 13 Encouragement to endure. Verse 14 Gospel of the Kingdom to be preached in all the world. Verse 15 Abomination of Desolation. Verses 16 to 18 Flee to the Mountains. Verses 23 to 24 False Christ and False Prophets. Verse 25 Warning already given. Verse 26 False News. Verse 27 The Coming of the Son of Man In verses 13 and 14, you're reminded to endure and to continue with the work on the gospel of the kingdom. In verses 16 to 18, you're reminded to flee to the mountains. This means not take sides. Do not get into the mess of the disputes. And you have already been warned. For every quarrels, fights, or disputes involving individuals and even amongst nations which can turn into a war, it all started with both sides being responsible for the explosive events. As the saying goes, it takes two hands to mate a complete clap. So this disputes will produce actions and reactions from both sides and will further grow in the nature of threats where threats issued from one side will bring threats response from the other sides. Any call to mobilize soldiers will result in opposite doing the same. However any call to initiate peace will result in the other side responding the same. It can all start with a simple anger. Jesus made a clarification that just being angry with another person without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. Matthew 5:21. You have heard that it was said to those of old, You shall not murder, and whoever murders will be in danger of the judgment. 22 But I say to you that whoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whoever says, You fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. Now we need to be careful. What Jesus said in John 10:10 also imply that you also participating in this larger spiritual battle and whose side are you with now? John 10:10 10, 10, the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. On one side Jesus gives life and we may have it more abundantly. On the other side the thief's ultimate aim is death which will result from some progressive steps from a simple anger and then start the plot to steal, kill, and to destroy. So participating in any side of the disputes will fall in this category. So are you on Jesus' side or on the thief's side? Jesus gave a very clear message that both worlds are linked and our actions will affect both worlds. Matthew 18:18 18, 18, Assuredly, I say to you, Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Do you understood clearly now? Remember, you're the ambassador of Christ representing the kingdom of God. Given the current world scenario, many are trapped here realizing that they have actually waged war against Christ instead. Apostle Paul was such a person and he was transformed by his encounter with Christ and he is the best person to give advice for all of us. Let's look into what Apostle Paul advise on the topics discussed. In Galatians chapter 5 he taught us the, the fruit of the Holy Spirit and why do believers need them. 
we as ambassador of Christ representing the kingdom of God here on earth ought to show fruit of the spirit rather than fruit of the flesh. Advice and reminder number 1, Christ has made you free. Galatians 5 1 Stand fast therefore in the liberty by which Christ has made us free, and do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. Advice and reminder number 2, through love serve one another. Galatians 5.13 For you, brethren, have been called to liberty, only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. 14 For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. 15 But if you bite and devour one another, beware lest you be consumed by one another. Advice and reminder number 3, Walk in the Spirit. Galatians 5.16 I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. 17 For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. 18 But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Advice and reminder number 4, walking in the flesh will not inherit the kingdom of God. Galatians 5:19 Now the works of the flesh are evident which are adultery fornication uncleanness lewdness 20 idolatry sorcery hatred contentions jealousies outbursts of wrath selfish ambitions dissensions heresies 21 envy murders drunkenness revelries and the like of which I tell you beforehand just as I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Advice and reminder number 5, lets us live in the spirit and also walk in the spirit. Galatians 5:22. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, 23 gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. 24 And those who are Christ's have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. 25 If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. 26 Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. And Jesus near the end of his earthly ministry said this, It's a new commandment. John 13:34 A new commandment I give to you that you love one another as I have loved you that you also love one another 35 By this all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another Here are other videos that I released and might be relevant to you the links can be found in the description below